Hi, guys. I'm so excited to talk about this. This is one of my favorite subjects ever. I'm all about content and community because you want to publish content you're proud of for a community you love. And my, the name of my business is Love People and Make Money, which is not as dirty as it sounds. I promise. It's all about content marketing and community building. So I want to talk about intentional content curation. And the, the, the fun thing is, is you already curate. I hate it when pe speakers ask people to raise their hands. But if you want to raise your hands, you can. Have you liked something on social media lately? Have you shared something on social media lately? Have you added an opinion about something on social media lately? Then you already curate. So we're already halfway there. Now let's just be more intentional about it. Because I'm a blogger podcaster. Blogging and podcasting changed my life. Back in 2002, I was a broke single mom. I was so broke. The first website I started, I bought from a reseller who went out of business and left me with no website, and I had to be rescued. And so I know everything about how much it can suck to try to start a website. Blogging and podcasting changed my life. I just started to share content with my community. I started Work at Home Moms Talk Radio in 2003. It was an internet radio show because podcasting hadn't been invented yet. But the second that podcasting was invented, I was a podcast. And my rule was to assume that I was the source for work at home moms. There were a lot of work at home mom websites out there. There were a lot of crap out there, a lot of scumbags sharing schemes of ways to make money online that were screwing over families and causing problems. I decided I was going to be the source that would tell them what did work and what didn't work I was gonna, gonna be an amazing resource, and I was. I set out to do it, and I was. It totally set me free from debt and the day job. I quit my job, I got out of debt, I quit my job in 2006, never looked back. I'm not a work at home mom anymore. My son's 28, and I have a grandbaby who's turning three. So I'm not work at home mom's talk anymore, but I am love people and make money, because that's what it all comes down to. So, you know you already curate. I want you to start curating content on your own site, on your own blog. When you see something out there in the world and you go, wow, that's cool. I want to share it with somebody. I just want you to stop and take five or ten minutes to intentionally curate it on your own website instead of just clicking, clicking like and share. So uh, that's what I want to talk to you about and tell you how to do. So the first step is you're going to start monitoring content creators that you dig. How many people are here today because somebody else is here who you dig? Like, they're smart. You know, you love their stuff. You love when they share blog posts and they write emails and they do videos. You pay attention to everything you do, that they do. How often do you see something that they've done and thought, oh, I want to share this with my people. And I want to tell them why it's cool. We do it all the time. I want you to monitor content creators that you dig. I use Feedly to subscribe to the blogs and such that I love. I also use iTunes to subscribe to podcasts, and I use Facebook. I create lists to follow friends who have specialty knowledge on Facebook. Monitor them. You're going to select and share what matters most. There's a lot of information flying at us all the time on social media and on the internet. Social media is on the internet. Um, there's so much happening all the time. Choose what matters most, like what really has a tangible purpose for your people, and choose that to create. And here's the five quick steps that you're going to follow. You find an item of content on somebody's blog that you like. I want you to go to your website, start a blog post. I want you to go to their website, grab the golden nugget quote. Don't go overboard. Don't quote the whole thing. Don't plunder their blog. Just take a quote, a paragraph or two, a golden nugget. Then, in addition to that quote, add why you think it's important. 
I got in the practice of interpreting internet marketing information for work at home moms who didn't have marketing backgrounds. I would share a great item of content with them. I would say, this is what you need to know about copywriting. And here's why copywriting is important to us. So quote them, add what makes it valuable for your people. Link to the source, duh. Don't just quote them and say, you know, Tim said this cool thing. Link back and invite them to go back and read the whole item of content. Link to them with good anchor text. Be a pal. If the blog post was about great SEO for real estate agents, link to them with the anchor text, great SEO information for real estate agents. They'll thank you for it. Give them that link and then tag the content. I always tag proper names. I always tag brand names. I always tag major themes of the content like search engine optimization tips and then publish it. Now, simple, now go share it. What I just described, those first four steps, it will take you no more than five minutes to do. Just open up the post, grab the quote, add the thought, tag it, publish, boom. You've only taken a few extra minutes. Now share it. You would have just liked it and shared it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, but now you're sharing the link to the curated content on your own website. This is important. The final step, I said there was five quick steps, there's a bonus. Now go tell the person you curated them. If you just curated someone who you admire, go back to them, leave a comment and say, what you said was so amazing, I wanted to share it with my people. I help bloggers, podcasters, authors, consultants. I shared it with them, just wanted you to know, thanks for sharing great information. I'm just letting them know I did it. Because let me tell you, this is an incredible relationship builder. If there are people you admire in your niche and you're wondering, how am I going to get them to know who I am? Curate them. Start with simple blog posts. And after you've done a few, reach out to them and say, my people love you so much, now can I interview you? And they're so much more likely to say yes than if they've never heard of you before. Guys, this is how I've built a business that makes me a lot of money and gives me a lot of freedom to do what I want. Because it's all about creating great content and it's all about having great communities, being a source to that community. The payoff for this, you say, well, if I'm just sharing it, how is it worth it? It's so much easier to just click share on Facebook. So if I find something cool on Facebook and I share it, and you click on it, do you remember who shared it with you? When you share it later, do you say, Kelly McCausey introduced me to this cool resource, or do you say, I found this cool resource on Facebook? I think if we started to count up the things that come out of our mouths, I found this cool thing on Facebook, probably adds up into the hundreds. I don't want people to say they found the cool thing on Facebook. I want them to say, Kelly McCausey put me in touch with this person. I met her through Kelly McCausey. And it happens. I have this wide-ranging web of relationships that create new possibilities for me all the time because of curation. And it's so simple. It's so easy. It's so fast. It's outsourceable. I monitor content on Feedly, tag it, curate, my VA picks it up and curates it for me. Boom, done. This time of year, your content starts to suffer because we're busy. We just had Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas, there's so much to do. Who's got time to publish new content? Everyone's got five minutes to curate something. You don't want your clients, your potential clients and partners coming to your website and seeing a dead site. If you're curating, they're seeing something fresh, something new, and that's what I want. Share it on social media, email it, put it in your newsletters. You're always wondering, what could I use as an excuse to communicate with my clients? 
Share something you just curated. Here's five cool things I found this last week that I think you need to know about the internets. Share it with them. It's so awesome. So I am from Let People Make Money. If you want to know more about content curation, I run a five-day curation challenge, and I'm doing one this month. If you text the word curate to the number 44222, text the word curate to number 44222, you can send me your email to get registered for that class. I won't add you to a marketing list. You will only ever get a couple emails about the challenge, and that's it, because I'm not that kind of a slimy marketer. I love people. So that's it. That's all I got to share. Thanks, guys.